Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> dog to cuddle with. Oh, I see. So you're going to cuddle with my head? <laughs> She's still in bed. <laughs> She's still in bed. You're right. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. I've had a haircut from Queenie. I did all right. You did great. <laughs> I think it's okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Claire. Hi, Jen. Good morning. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, morning, Kim. <laughs> yeah, haircuts. Mm -hmm. Strong, strong uh, Brad Pitt and Fury vibes. Yeah, yeah, true. Actually. True. I mean, I think it's, a lot of people have had this the, haircut. This, yeah, well, for sure. Right? She did a good job. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, we've trimmed Abby enough times. <laughs> You're a lot better. You're a lot easier to trim than Abby. At least I don't, you stay still. I don't move. You yeah, don't try to bite true. me or swat to, at me. I rarely try to bite you. Uh -huh. It is true. Quite rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you um, do have opinions though, which Abby does not wish. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, and yes, we were using Abby's trimmers. That's the only thing we have. It's okay. They're very high quality ceramic trimmers. So. <laughs> To share that, but it doesn't bother me, even if it may be a little patchy. I don't know, you could just wear a hat, it's okay. it's, <laughs> no one can see it. It's on, zoom, it's zoom, and I zoom and it's Instagram. Yeah, yeah, we'll just move further away from the camera. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> uh, if you have any requests, send them through. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it looks beautiful outside. Yeah, it's cold. I know it's cold. Feels like minus six here, so. What? Minus six? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like. Well, that's why I'm in a sweater. Just woke yeah. up like, this is not Well, warm. it's not minus six in here. <laughs> I know, but it still feels a little chilly. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I always feel bad in the spring when this happens, because I'm like, oh, All flowers. the flowers and the, <laughs> the buds coming out. Yeah. I guess they're fine, though, if they can take a few cold days. Probably. I think so. Should we get started? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, find a comfortable seated position, sit cross-legged or kneeling. Set your spine up nice and tall and close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, and turn your palms face up or face down. Face down if you're feeling a little bit scattered this morning. Too much energy. Face up. Feeling a bit sluggish. Tired. And for this morning, as you bring attention to your breath, just let it be at the rhythm that it's in right now. You don't need to change anything. Just simply allowing awareness to wash over the body. And bringing attention to the muscles around your jaw, your cheeks, your forehead. You soften there. Less tension in the face. Less tension in your neck. And with that same intention of not straining, just allowing things to be as they are, turn a gentle gaze to your third eye. The eyes move to the point between the eyebrows, third eye. Point directly in front of your pineal gland. You feel that really uncomfortable sensation of 
and cross-eyed and just straining. Just relax the eyes. No need to strain. left in that little bit of stillness. Just notice where the awareness goes. If you're able to stay at that third eye point, just notice if there's shape, or pattern, color, even light. Nudge your awareness in the direction of your breath. And begin to lengthen each inhale and each exhale. Bringing a bit more intention behind the breath. Inhale here together, fill all the way up, taking up some space. Open your mouth and release that breath. Connect your palms in prayer, heart center, thumbs rest into the sternum. Beginning to the sound of a single ohm, inhale. changing directions. And coming back through center, come to your tabletop. And we'll turn fingertips to point out. So left fingertips point to the left side, right fingertips point to the right side, and then we'll draw circles with the body. So here we're moving kind of our major joints shoulders, hips, knees, wrists, that we might feel the wrists and the forearms the most. So just being kind of mindful of the sensation there, you can switch directions, draw the circles the other way. And then we're turning through center, untuck the toes, let the hips melt back, walk the hands forward, come into a child's pose here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and sigh your breath out. Returning to tabletop when you breathe in. Set up the palms so that they're shoulder width apart. You can have your index or middle finger pointing straight forward. And we'll step the feet back, come into a plank position. So you're welcome to walk the feet back, lifting the knees. Find your, the length of your plank. And if you need more support this morning, you can always bring the knees down anytime. So, 
As you hold plank here, just feeling how the weight is distributed in your hands. You want to keep the weight spread. So you notice if you're pushing a bit more, maybe just into the thumb or a bit more only into the pinky side of your wrist. Spread that weight. And see if you can separate your shoulder blades and notice if your shoulders naturally start to squeeze up to the ears. Pull them away. Take one more inhale. And when you exhale, lift your bum up. Let your head relax, come into a downward facing dog. Feel free to move around a little, pedal the heels or sway the hips, move the body. All right, so from here, I want you to bend your knees, but don't let your knees touch the mat. Just hover them above the mat. Bring your bum back towards your heels so you kind of look like a child's pose. And then when you inhale, come to plank by straightening the legs and shifting forward. Again, and exhale, bend your knees again, shift back. So like a child's pose, but your knees hover. And then again, inhale, come forward. So strong arms, exhale, bend your knees, knees hover, bum pushes back towards the heels. Inhale, coming forward to plank. One more time, exhale, bend the knees, shift the bum back. Inhale, come forward and exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Good. Untuck the toes, breathe in, draw your shoulders back, lift into a cobra. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, push your legs into the ground, lift your heart forward. Exhale, release. And one more, breathe in. Lift upwards. Exhale, coming back onto the mat, push into your hands and knees, find tabletop again. Tuck your toes, lift the knees up, downward facing dog. Then when you're in down dog, I want you to sweep your right leg up, bend the right knee, push your right foot to the left side so that you can open the right hip and point the knee up towards the ceiling. Try to ground the left heel downwards, lift the right knee up higher, uh, breathe in. You exhale, bring your right knee, try to touch your right arm, and then release your right foot back in plank, and breathe here. Exhale, chaturanga. Move into a cobra or an up dog when you inhale next. Exhale, lift your hips up, roll over the toes, downward facing dog, and then breathe in, lift your left leg in the air, try your hip open, push your left foot to the right side, try to point the left knee up high, and try to press your right heel down towards the mat, melting your chest slightly to the left side of the back of your mat. Good. When you exhale, next, bring your left knee, try to touch your left elbow, left arm. And stay in plank as you release the left foot back. Lower halfway on your chaturanga as you exhale. Breathe in, up dog or cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale through the nose. Sigh that breath out. Good. Look forward when you breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and then your forward fold, shake out the wrists. Feel free to add a little bend in your knees. Grab opposite elbows and let your spine dangle here. You can separate the feet a little wider if that feels nicer in your forward fold. Good. Sway the spine gently side to side. Feel the back of your legs, feel your low back, mid back, upper back. Good, releasing your hands. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, fold. Lift all the way up, breathe in, stretch tall. Breathe out, release your arms by your side. Good, tap your legs together. Come into a chair pose, bend your knees, inhale, sweep your arms up. Good, exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down. I'm gonna keep your right foot there, bring your left foot all the way back. Good, bend your right knee, so the front knee, but I want you to stay low to the ground, so maybe your fingertips, maybe you can press your entire palms down in this lower lunge, reaching the top of your head forward. Keep that front knee bent. Your right knee is about 90 degrees, thigh is pretty much parallel to the floor. Good, breathe in. When you exhale, not lifting your spine, keeping everything else the same, just sweep your arms back. So staying low to the ground, back knees lifted if you can, top of your head reaching forward. And then when you inhale, can you reach your arms forward? Again, not changing your spine, keeping the legs beautiful, and then slowly bring your hands down as you exhale. Good, left hand will stay. You're gonna inhale, reach your right arm up. Twist in here. Keep that front knee bent. Try to open the chest to the right side. Reach your right arm further behind you if possible. 
and then when you exhale, we're gonna release the right hand down as well. Now we're gonna bring the right hand inside the right foot, bring your back heel down. So turn your left toes to the left side so the left heel can come to the mat. You might not keep the palm all the way down, you might need to float it up a little. Reach your left arm up. Bend that front knee. Notice if you're slowly straightening that right leg, keep the right knee at 90 degrees. Right palm might be floating, that's okay. It may not touch the mat. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release your left hand down as well. Bring your left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Come into a lunge again, melting your hips forward. Back knee stays on the mat if you need. Good, reach tall, inhale. Connect the palms overhead, bend your elbows, bring your thumbs to touch the base of your neck. Elbows no wider than the shoulders. Lift your elbows up, melt your hips forward. Good, breathe into the front body. Take another inhale. When you exhale, release your hands down into the mat. Good, you can keep your back knee on the mat as you slowly straighten the right leg into your half split. If you prefer, you can lift the back knee and straighten the right leg into your pyramid pose. Breathe. And look the same size <laughs> when your knee is down. This is my knee lifted. <laughs> Breathe. Flexing the right toes if you can, maybe even lifting the right toe mount so you get more into the calf. Beautiful. One more breath in, one more breath out. Did you wonder if I was knee on the floor? Yeah. I looked at the camera like, we're the same size. It's like, here, I'm smaller. All right. I said one more breath in, one more breath out. Let's bend that right knee. Hands connect to the mat. Step your right foot back. Both knees lifted. You're going to stay in plank for a moment. Breathe in. Can you bend your knees, sink your bum back, keep your knees hovering above the mat. Looks like child's pose, but doesn't feel quite like it. When you inhale, let's come forward to plank again. Exhale, chaturanga, use your knees if you need. Come into cobra or up dog. When you breathe in, good. Exhale, lift from your core, send your hips up, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Look forward when you breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, walk, step, or hop. Come to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, full forward, exhale, lift all the way up, breathe in, release your arms, breathe out, have your legs together, find chair again, breathe in, bend your knees, lift your arms up, breathe out, release, hands coming down, inhale, halfway lift, left foot stays, exhale, step your right foot all the way back, keep the back knee lifted. Again, you can stay on fingertips. Let's bend that left knee, let the hips melt. Reach the top of your head forward. Go ahead, hug your left hip in a little. Don't let the left hip stick out to the side if possible. Go ahead, breathe. Take a really deep inhale here. When you exhale, sweep your arms back. Go ahead, keep reaching your head forward. Notice if you're starting to round your back. Keep that left knee at about 90 degrees. Next time you inhale, sweep your arms forward. Good, so strong legs, we're quickly warming up the hip, the thighs, keep your right leg strong as well. And when you exhale, you can slowly bring hands down. Your right palm will stay, left arm will lift up. Good, reaching the arms wide, maybe trying to bring your left hand further back. So engaging those back muscles. Beautiful, and release your left hand down. I'm gonna bring the left hand inside the left foot. You might come to a block, you might just float the leg. Now turn your right heel into the left side so you can bring your whole right foot on the mat. Bend that left knee, sweep your right arm up. Again, your left hand might be floating, that's okay. Don't, you don't have to bring it all the way down. Keep that left knee bent at 90 degrees if possible. Reach your arms wide, take one more deep breath in. Exhale, release your right hand down. Lift the back heel, lower your right knee and sweep your arms up. Good. Melt your hips forward, arms reaching tall, breathe in. Exhale, connect your hands overhead, bend your elbows, bring your thumbs to the base of your neck. Push your elbows up, lean back slightly so that you're pushing your head into your forearms, but then allow your hips to press forward as well in opposite directions. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. You can keep the back knee on the mat and then slowly work on straightening the left leg. So you're half split. If your knee is sensitive or you like to take pyramid instead, you can lift the back knee, lengthen the spine forward, and try to work, focus, focus less on bringing your face to the leg, 
but just trying to lift your collarbones forward towards your left foot. Breathe. <laughs> One more breath. <laughs> And from here, you will bend your left knee, plant your palm, step your left foot all the way back, hold your plank, strong arms, separate your shoulder blades, breathe in, find that child's light pose, but not bend the knees, touch the mat, so bend your knees, have them hover, and then when you inhale, come back to plank, we're going to do that one more time, exhale, bend your knees, squeeze the legs, powerful arms and legs, using the core as well, inhale, coming back through plank, exhale, chaturanga, use your knees if you need. You can lift a cobra or up dog on your breath in. Exhale, lift the hips up, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe through the nose, side up through the mouth. Walk your hands towards your feet. So come to the very back of your mat. And from there, inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Separate your feet as wide as your mat. Maybe wider, maybe a little less. You can turn your toes outwards as you slowly bend your knees. Come into your low squat, your malasana. Elbows can push the knees outwards. Palms can come to prayer and lift the chest up. So keeping your spine tall instead of rounding and hunching here, engaging some of the back muscles. Good. So if your heels are not quite touching the mat, maybe lift your bum a little and try to press the heels down and over time work to bring your heels down, uh, bring your bum down. Over time sounds like working over uh, time. Like working over time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Over a period of time, <laughs> you can bring your, your bum down. All right, so first option, just staying here, hanging out, getting into the hips, the inner thighs, pushing the elbows out, and you can transition between your malasana, or you can come to a forward fold. Hands can just dangle, you can interlace the hands, you can hold your ankles as well. So you move between the two, especially if you're starting to really feel your malasana. Next option, you can crow your way forward. So you're bringing your hands down, you're bringing the knees to the arms, lean forward, lift the feet, maybe one at a time, maybe both, maybe you don't lift both feet. You're just prepping, then you bring your toes down and then you walk your, feet, your hands forward and then you do it again. So eventually you move to the top of the mat or you're staying at the back. Malasana, forward fold. Last option, keep going Jonathan, you're working on little hops. Maybe it's a bit too early, you don't wanna do hops, you can do crow or stay in your malasana. Otherwise you push your hands down, lift your bum up, land your feet down, and you slowly make your way to the top of the mat. Don't want to kick you. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> kick you in the face that time. <laughs> All right, so whether you're at the top of the mat or the back, you're still in Malasana or a forward fold. If you did make it to the top of the mat, staying options. Take one more breath. Good. Everyone's going to find a forward fold. Lifting the bum up, shake out the legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down. If you're at the back of the mat, walk your hands forward. If you're at the top of the mat, send your feet back. Come to a plank position. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Bring your hands off the mat onto this floor, on your fingertips, and have your elbows point up to the ceiling. So your arms kind of look like spider legs. Untucking the toes, push your toenails into the mat. Inhale, lift your chest up. Good. And when you exhale, bring your right shoulder downwards. You're not touching the mat. That's okay. Inhale, float back up. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right side. Inhale, float. Exhale, left. One more on each side. Breathe in. Lift up. And still engaging the back body. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left. Come back up, breathe in, and breathe out, release all the way down. Slide your palms next to your chest, push into a tabletop when you breathe in. Have your big toes touch, melt your hips back, come into a child's pose when you breathe out. Deep breath through the nose, sigh it out. Just 
slowly sitting up. And extend your legs out in front of you. Shake out the legs. All right, bend your right knee, bring the sole of the right foot to the inner thigh. And then separate the legs a little more. So turn your right, so bring your right knee out to the side more. So the foot no longer, is likely no longer touching the inner thigh. All right, you might have to bend the left knee. You might have to sit on something if the hamstrings are tight or the hips don't, uh, hips are a little stiff as well. So left hand, you're just going to bring it onto the left leg. You can slide it downwards. Don't have to grab the foot. Your right arm will reach up. You can bring the right hand to the back of your head or you can reach your right arm forward. Again, you don't have to grab the foot. So elbow, if the hand is behind the head, try to point your elbow up towards the ceiling. So this is more about a side bend, stretching the right side body. You might experience a bit of a stretch in your left leg. If you're here live with us or you're practicing in the morning, understand that the body tends to be a little stiffer in the morning. Breathe. All right, when you inhale, come back through center. All right, so straightening the right leg forward. Shake it up. Same thing on the left side. Bend the left knee, start with the sole of the foot inside the thigh, then open the leg wider so you turn the knee further out to the back of your mat. Right hand can just slide down the right leg, left arm reaching forward, or bring your left hand to the back of your head, try to point the elbow up. You might start to notice that one side could, might feel tighter than the other, so it could be the hamstring that's restricting you a little, it could be the side body, it could be both, or maybe you're very open, you might be lying all the way down onto your leg. We're all a little different. Breathe. Try to point the left elbow up towards the ceiling a little bit more and that will get you into a deeper side stretch. And when you inhale next, come back up. Straighten out both your legs, shake it out, and then you can lie down. So lying on your spine, legs, Neutral arms can rest anywhere that's comfortable. Take a moment here, close your eyes. Soften your face. Allow everything to just fade into the background for a moment. The next time you breathe in, take a deeper inhale through the nose and sigh that breath out. Start to move the body again. And when you're ready, you can bend your knees, gently rock up or roll to one side. Finding your seated position again. Your spine lifted, but shoulders are light, relaxing your face, eyes still closed, breathing easily in and out through the nose. We will close our practice with a sound of OM. Feel free to join us. Connect your palms together in Anjali Mudra. Take an inhale. Oh. for making time for your practice. We thank you for joining us today. Hope you're able to find some peace, love, and gratitude on the mat 
take that with you, share it with everyone you interact with. Have a wonderful rest of your day and your week. Namaste. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the practice and have a great start to your week. Happy Monday again. Happy Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thank you, Abba Cadaver. <laughs> um, yeah, drink lots of water throughout mm -hmm. the day. Stay hydrated. I definitely know I'm getting old when sometimes people will message things and I have to really think for a second. So I forget ever when you said, I know when you said that. I was like, Tyson, what the heck is Tyson? I went, oh, thank you so much. That makes sense. Tyson. Wow. <laughs> no, no comment. Can I say? None whatsoever. Thank you to everyone else. Official. I'm going to try to scroll back up. Uh, thank you, Effie, Sarah, Kim. Thanks, Deanna, Claire. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Melanie. I think uh, Cindy, Jen. <laughs> Enjoy your week. We'll be back as always uh, Wednesday and Friday. Yeah, we'll be there. So we'll be here. Thanks, Claudia. <laughs> Those of you who joined our, our uh, Sunday Zoom yesterday, thanks for being there. By ours, I mean Queenie's. She crushed everyone for 90 minutes yesterday morning. I didn't crush everyone. Who was who are you talking about? You, no, I am so nice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, H. Burmy. <laughs> Sorry, I if I'm just butch butchering your uh, handles. <laughs> <laughs> This is a weird world we live in. Sometimes I'm like, I only know you as your handle. <laughs> like, um, can't refer you to your to your name. Or I don't know your name. <laughs> it's true. Didn't we had we know people that like they went to events as Instagram people and like the events literally wrote out their first and last name as like their Instagram handle. They didn't even put their full name. But I guess that means like But they did like they split it up. They like didn't do like at da da da. They like did like they split mm, it up. Uh. <laughs> what if your name couldn't be split up? <laughs> like your that's a good question. That's a good. Or, just make that up. <laughs> someone told us about this. Oh, I'm I'm remember. keeping their anonymity because I don't know if they want. Oh, I don't remember. But yeah. no. Okay, you can tell me it after. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but um, your secret, so. <laughs> yeah, you know. So that's all we got today. I think that's uh <laughs> that's all the tangents we have for you today. Oh, Abby is still in bed. That's very impressive. Um, it's not even a rainy you day. You shut the door, did you? I, no. She was buried in blankets last That's time true. I went in. So <laughs> she, maybe she's trapped, as opposed to... She knows how to come still. out of blankets. She's not that handicapped. It's true. Anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around, and hope to see you all Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. Hi, everyone. <laughs>